You know, by the way, when you come to Kenya, I saw my brother. There's something trending in Kenya. I saw an interview of President His Excellency Yoweri Museveni with a Kenyan reporter. Have you seen it? Yeah. Kenyans were shocked. You know, in Kenya, when when when, when you are when you are interviewing someone in Kenya, rather the president, there's a guy called Jeff Koinangi. When when you introduce when, when, when you interview someone in Kenya, we we make it up close and candid. Yeah, this is how they like my brother. Tell me, how, how was it? It was not as everybody expected. How was the elections? You well, know, a little bit. Easier. No, no, no. Tell us. <laughs> this is this is Jeff Koinangi. Jeff, you know what happened? Jeff, 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 Jeff. How was it? Jeff, I saw we saw we saw in this interview. We can, we, we can begin. Uh, can, can I come a little closer? No, 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 no. You, you sit there. You ask the question. I, I can hear you. Are you sure you can hear me, Your I Excellency? Can, I, I can hear you very well. You see, Your Excellency, why don't you just sit down? Where are you going? Where are you going? You ask the question. So I can hear you. What would it be up close and possible? <laughs> I don't know if to our president, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know, when, when somebody was so confused, somebody, you guys are so confused in our elections. Even when William Ruto came here, it was here. This is why you want uh, the Independence Day, right? I remember my president came here, and somebody was still confused. When, when my president came out, somebody had to ask me, are you, are you, are you sure you want the president? <laughs> Let me call Uru. How are you? Uru the one. Uru is the one, yeah? Uru the one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you can put your hands together, show some love, make some noise, all the way from the part of Africa, my co-host, Patrick Sengale! The last artist who did the show here was Pepe Cool. The next was the comedian. How life changes. Pepe Cool is now here. The one who's holding it. No situation is permanent. Ah, uh, Ladies first.
remember one time I tweeted and I said, women need special care. Husbands, if you love the women, give them money. And I told myself, I give thirty percent of all my money to my wife. Never, don't laugh. I'm coming. Never, ever make such declarations on Twitter. People are not happy. You know what? One of those idiots replied me. The guy replied, he even had 20 followers. That's a big chance. But the guy replied, with the way he looked, that's the only thing you can do to sustain that woman. Doing well now. Yeah. Listen, my wife is this romantic. Romantic. She just loves doing things she sees on TV. One time she said, Baby, let's make love in front of the mirror. I saw myself doing that. Even me, I would never do myself. Because then I looked at my watch and I said, 
they have been meaning to replace this thing. I took it off immediately. I said, no, oh, man, are you sure it comes with the ticket? He said, yes, it's included. I said, ah, this is powerful. But then I got excited because I then said, okay, but if they're going to offer me a Rolex, I need to know what color it is, you know, what the specs are. So I asked her, and I said, man, what, what kind of Rolex are you going to give me? And then she said, no, uh, with Inyanyambis. And I said, oh, okay. I think that means gold. I think that means gold. Yeah, that means gold. When I go back to South Africa and they say, what's that? I said, no, no, it's Inyanyambis. You don't know this. You need to travel. You need to. You need to travel. Then the flight happened, man. Four hours. No worries. We ate. We drank. We landed. And I kept looking at her because I couldn't be too excited now, you know. I had to play it cool. Every time she would walk past me, I would look at her thinking, now is the time, and she just walked past. When we landed, ma'am, we got there. I was the first one off, so I caught that little two seconds before you disembark to talk to her. And I said, ma'am, thank you for the flight. Uh, I'm sorry, but you didn't give me the Rolex. She said, no, you ate it. I said, huh? I ate metal. Where did I? I don't remember chewing aluminium. When, when did this happen? So you need to put it in the brochure, sir. What it is. But I enjoyed it, man. I loved it. And we got to go out. I think dance hall music is huge here. Shout out to uh, the gentleman that was on stage. Pepe Kudo. Ah, man. I love dance hall music. Oh my gosh, you guys have the white people. I'm so sorry. Hi, white people. Hi. Hey, black people are doing well, eh? We are in BBIP white people are in the red. Yeah, this is how this is how it should be. Yeah, feel what we've been feeling now, yeah? Right. 